So hello everyone, welcome to another match day vlog. We're gonna be Bristol City at the DW. And before you all go, why aren't you watching Everton Villa? I am, I'll be watching it on my phone, thank you very much. I'll be watching it with the train Wi-Fi. The about half an hour. Oh yeah, but I'm just doing that when I'm fucking speaking again. Hang on a second, everyone. Over there is a few Blackpool fans sitting there. Anyway, I could have went to Blackpool v Swansea, but I'd rather just have chose Wigan to be fair, it's closer and it's a bit cheaper and you know I can watch Everton on the train which is what I was saying I'm going to watch Everton on the train and then when I get out I'm going to rush to a pub because I can walk 15 minutes by the time because by the time I get to Wigan it'll be half time I'm going to go on a Blackpool train instead of the Wigan train because the Blackpool train's earlier and that goes through Wigan but I feel disasters in myself I'm so insecure and all that but anyway I'm like 8 subs off 2k be massively appreciated if you can help get me to 2k by the end of this video fucking amazing if you can drop it a like um, I would go in the East Stand at Wigan with a ticket to say I'm unable to get them I don't have a clue why I'll just keep trying I'll try next time maybe it's because the sold out I don't know because you know Wigan have good fans when they're sitting there so fair play to the lads who sit there anyway if you all enjoy my match day vlog right then just got off at Wigan North Western I'm gonna be walking up to the ground probably there in about 15 minutes but obviously I'll be there like two hours early so I'm gonna go to the pub get a pint Watch the rest of the Everton game. Don't want to know. I've just watched the whole, well, not the whole, 34 minutes of the first half until I got to the station. Pass is getting given away. And the goal we conceded, I mean, come on, had to be Danny Ings. And then Decore's injured. So now we put on Tom Davis instead of Anana. I mean, well, I know Anana's not Premier League proven, but surely we should have put Anana on over fucking Tom Davis. Come on. But let's hope Tom Davis proves me wrong. I'd accept anything. I'd accept a draw. I wouldn't accept a loss against Phil, but I'd accept a draw. You know, Gordon's had a goal. That's why we need an attack and threat. I know Rondon's poor, but we need... And I know Deli Alli hasn't been good recently, but I'd have Deli Alli on for the creativity. I'd have Rondon on for, you know, mm. to see if he can score, because at least he's a striker. Unlike, you know, Gordon, who's more of a winger type. But I still have faith in Everton. Hopefully we'll get just one or three points, either one. I wouldn't mind. A point will be in one of the improvements of last year, losing 3 0 to Villa, but I don't see it happening after watching that first half. Just, I'm nervous for this season as an Everton fan. We need a striker, it'll be sound, but at the same time, the midfield's still open. Here we go, the DW Stadium, and it's hot. Like 32 degrees or more. It says 32 degrees, it feels hotter than it ever has been. It's unbearable, fucking heat. Box me six, so I've got two cans that I've already gone warm. Shite. Sweating though. But yeah, there we go. Oh, it's me. Crusty the pie. Oh, me. What a pie. What a mascot. Hilarious. Why everyone's asking why I'm wearing an Everton shirt. <laughs> Wouldn't be wearing if Everton weren't playing today, but we're playing today, so you know. <laughs> Still, might, you know, lose a 1 0. This cold is alright, like. Better than big bottle though, but he's gonna have some icy drink before it goes anywhere because the heat knocks me sick. So we're on our way to the DW, in fact we're right in front of it as you can see. Right in front of the DW stadium. Hopefully we have a good match day vlog here. People who go on about me not watching the Everton game I did, I watched it in the pub. Um, I watched the first half on the train, got out, walked down to the pub, watched the last 30 minutes and first half you know we didn't look as good but neither did Villa but we looked like we were all like defensively in that first half apart from letting Danny Ings in the way we did but Villa did a good team at Villa Park not away if that was at Goodison it'll be a different story but we were away at Villa Park so it's a tough result and it's a tough game to go to at Villa Park as well their atmosphere is boss at Villa Park and our fans were boss I could hear them as well on TV but you know, it does worry me that last season we didn't lose to Sam any of these first two games last season and then we went on to lose 20, but I think we'll be much better off this season. Not going to be biased, but I think we will be because, you know, I just think we will. We, we, we do look better than we did last season. The only thing is we're missing a striker, which hopefully we can get in this window or in a few weeks. Or even by the Forest game, please, by the Forest game, because if we lose Forest, I think we're in big trouble because... The away one at Forest will be tough as well. But anyway, got pint reviews off it. Quite sweet, it's decent, seven out of 10. Some people are nice, like the man on my table who was a Bristol City fan and the lads on the table who are Bristol City fans. 
the Wigan fan when I was getting my pint, he was nice speaking to me. However, you know, however, there was this lad in a or a man who looked about 50 in this white top going, move your knob or something like that. I can't remember what he said, but he swore at me and said me to move or something like that. Call me a tit or something, but it is what it is, you get the good and bad in the world. But anyway, let's hope this game can bring us the light today. And you know, still plenty of this season left for Everton, so try not to worry about <laughs> Everton Football Club right now. Bosh! Joro final. It's a fair play. Solid that. The big ball never worked. We're getting with a semi decent start for the season as well. Oh, I'm really keen. Yeah, we're going to have a good start to the season in a way. 0-0 against Preston. 1-1 against Norwich, which is a cracking result for them. Fair play to them Bristol City fans who come down as well. Long distance. Well, that was a Saturday kick-off, so, you know, it's going to be a bit more packed, but saying that, it's like over 200 miles away. Well, Bristol City are in. Yeah, the Wigan players still slides out to the Bristol City player. 
horrendous if that's me. That's horrendous. She last. 17 minutes now, so early on the game. Yellow card. It's only a yellow. That's an aggressive SEC player, what will we can play again? Gone now. Referee is going to sort of someone on the side. Looks like the big player is going away with it, but she looks like a cross out of the way he did. But it might not be as bad as it seems because the referee went up to the linesman, so maybe the Bristol City player put some dramatics on. And the linesman notices, that's why he's got the yellow card for the dramatics. Drinks break for them, drinks break for me as well. Orange. Cannibal, these are equipment from Fanta and I get to 10 out of 10, it's lovely. Might get more when I'm on the way home. Because I go past out on the way home, so yeah. But it's so hot. Steaming. Might go out to get something at half time and then as they're on the way home, it's too hot. Be check to Wigan. Another striker in front of fucking McGinnis. What did he find special about McGinnis all the time? Corner into Wigan. Didn't even read the first one, that's not. By the way, Everton would have got Wigan in the Carabao Cup if we didn't, or Wigan didn't lose to Fleetwood. Would have been easier for me to go to, so they go to Fleetwood with like 2,000 fans. Like a few hundred away fans, are last. Balls in! Oh! Oh! Referee is fucking shanked. Three times big enough to the free kick, because of the way the rest of us say take it back. Well, it's perfectly not wrong with because the referee's not concentrating. It's carry a drink of water if you need it, mate. Right? Delaying the game. Fucking shocking. And what is that there? Oh, Blazer again. McGinnis is offside again. Oh. How many minutes? Like four or five? Five. The referee's indicated the big minimum of five minutes and time. Five minutes and time. What a stoppage in this out. McGinnis has still been kept on. I've been speaking to a few Wigan fans and they even say that they don't like the way McGinnis is slow and all that, but she is always slow, gets himself offside. But Wigan have made a change and they've put um, Fia Lascard on. I just put my chair for it. Um, but yeah, Tia Lascard by far my favourite Wigan player. That goal he scored against Blackburn was amazing. And um, Rather than 4 Reds nil, which I thought would be a nil nil game, but I snub it is in 1 nil. Think I said 1 nil or 2 1. That's not happening. At the moment, my Arsenal scores correct. I said 2 nil Arsenal. And Jesus has scored too. He's going to be some player like he already is. I don't know why City sold him, but they've got our lines anyway. So, not to complain about the City squad there. City are feeling up to their half place, what I said. But I'm not angry. I'm just a bit upset with the Everton result. But at the end of the day, I think we play as well, so yeah, man. 
Perth, where you go, okay, cool. Arsenal 3-1 up. I'm speaking to AJ at half time. And in the concourse, he said it'll be 3 1. And it'll always be 3 1. That's my prediction down the drain. Leeds 1 0. I think I said that'd be 0 0, but no. Southampton 0 Leeds 1. Rodrigo. What a player. Go on, Theo, lads. We're gonna have only made three subs, so I know they can make five, but it makes it more harder when to use and when not to. Back keep a kid far away, of course. But it's the very similar to the away kid there, so surely I should be the first one. Knowledge this season. Rosie hell. Lost 1 0 to Carter. Drew 1 1 to Wigan. And now we're 2 0 down to Hull. What's happening, Norwich? Come on, ask guards. Oh, McLean, lads. Oh, no. oh Theo. He's good, Theo. Oh, Wigan have got a good spell. Oh, well, in ask guards. Just 
Three kicks to Wigan. Nathan Broadhead, true blue. And you know what, I'm calling it now, Broadhead will score. Everton lost today, so a player who's on loan. But Everton desperately needs will score, it happens all the time. Happened last week with Ellis Sims against Bristol City, funny enough. It's a little way off from Theo Ascars. Oh, power on that clearance though. Oh, Keeley, it's his. Two weeks to as well, what a game. Two weeks! Oh. Nice little spin as well. Oh, 
probably be the last bit of action. Yeah. And it is. Full time Wigan 1, Bristol City 1. So, three draws in a row for Wigan at the start of the season. Not bad, but. Well, yeah, it's not bad because we've had a tough start to the season, Wigan. So Venice full time here at the DW, it's Wigan 1, Bristol City 1, sorry about the confusion at the end of the last part of the video. Um, we used to come on and I didn't want to get, you know, copyrighted for monetise and all that. Because you know, the money adds up, doesn't it? <laughs> nah, I'm not all there for the money though, like, I don't do YouTube for the money, I do YouTube for my enjoyment and other people's enjoyment. Because when people enjoy me vlogs, and it's simple as that. You know what I mean? So, at the end of the day, it is what it is, <laughs> but I'm going to see if I can go to Blackburn's one of a doubt it, but I'll see, because you know, I'll pay for the train fare if it's anything less than 20 quid, which hopefully it is, if it is, then that should be sound, but yeah, yeah I'm open all my opinions on the game, I think it was a good game, I just, you know, think both defences were up and down and, you know, but yeah, Wigan, got high hopes for them this season to be fair I think Wigan can do well as long as we get that strike situation sorted which they hopefully have um, like McGuinness he's good when he's got a strength but sometimes it's a big problem but yeah end of the day I do think you know people go why have you got on by the way it's got an Everton top on I don't mind going in the stadium because I don't go out with everyone but when I'm leaving the stadium there's tons of people can't be harsh on me Everton top, especially after the defeat. Shouldn't even be wearing it right now anyway. <laughs> but I bought it only because Everton are playing today, which the players lost 2 1. Gutted that we're further down in that zone, but two our games at the start of the season, Everton will get better. But yeah, just love vlogging for you all. And you know, I think there's quite a lot of vlogs this week coming up. You know, there's local ones, there's Everton under 20 ones that. Um, Southport as United on Friday Evan under 21 by the way what a start of the season won 2-0 against Blackburn like the one I did and then they won 2-0 yesterday against Tottenham under 21 so that's fucking class doesn't that give Lampard the hint play some of your youth and see what they can produce in that squad like he did with Chelsea So about not getting any other people to be in the interview today I haven't had the chance really and I was on a record random people because you never know what that shit can get into you. But yeah. Hope you all enjoy me vlog anyway, you all bloody masterclass legends. Just vlogging on the way home just for a bit until I can upload it anyway. <laughs> yeah, the DW in the background. Be back there 27th, I think, against Burnley. Burnley. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go to plenty of games before then as well. It's a nice car, open top car, eh? Wigan Pier, wow. Pier. Oh, I heard um, Olivia Greenhouse, but I know Green, I thought her name is, but he's one I want to mean, if you know what I'm saying, it's hard, but she said she's not big and pure, like, as a man of all, you know, it's good, and the weather's cooled down a bit, it's still blistering us, so I'm not going to wear my coat. James McLean! Now, you know what, with Wigan, yeah, I wouldn't even say Wigan's results today, with bad, a 1-1 draw, I know Bristol City, yeah, they're not the best at the moment, but even then, Bristol City are quite a solid, you know, team um, and yeah as we think Wigan compared to them just getting promoted as well drawing Norwich 1-1 one, one, and drawing Preston 0-0 and today 1-1 against Bristol City doesn't seem bad at all to be fair dun dun dip dogs in a mirror do you think review then orange juice as the probably see me to buy all these fresh orange juices apple juices pineapple juices and the majority the best because they're absolutely belting get nine out of ten up the orange juice Sheffield Wednesday on tour um I can't lie Wigan Town Centre is a bit of a shocking place I'm not gonna sound mad no I don't mind Wigan Town I don't mind but when I say shocking place it's an all right place just back at the door like the lack of places like loads of fast foods just, I don't know there's not many shops and this looks cramped, but it's not, it's not the worst town centre I've ever been to. I've been to worse. But yeah, I mean, I don't mind Wigan, so I can't fucking slag them off, can I? 
So here we go then, we're having a little break in North Western. I think we're going back to town. Liverpool town. <laughs> Just much bigger and more easy options in town. Right then, I'm well confused. It says my train to Lime Street should have been here now. And now the next time it comes, is it about um, a little bit longer? Now it's done the same thing with the other one. Pretty mad. So thanks everyone for watching the last day vlog on a Copperberg um, premium size of passion fruit, cherry, co or Pepsi, um, peas. Can't be efficient chips, I've had some chips. All them onion rings look lovely. Go on then, before I go. Decent. Cherry Pepsi, one of the best drinks. But put lemon in it, which is mad. Chips are fantabulous. Can't beat a fish. Looking beautiful. Beer about peas. You have the mushy on the roll. Find it on your ring. And about that meat. meal is nice, lovely. So if you enjoyed this vlog, please press the like, subscribe, knit. I don't know if I'm too gay. I haven't looked, but if I'm not too gay, leave a like down. Subscribe. Well, if I'm really at 2k, I would love you to all subscribe. So close to good 2k it means so much to me that you know, it's very hard to get subs on YouTube. 2k won't be unbelievable. So, thank you all. Um, love you all, respect you all, and yeah, hopefully, see you again sometime soon. Peace out.